Hello everyone, our today's topic is automotive textiles. Today we will discuss the how textiles are used in automotive industries, what are the different types of fibers used in automotive textiles. There are various areas where we can use the textile materials in automotive applications. So, each application will require specific fiber and fabric characteristics. All these things we will discuss here. So, automotive textiles are technical textiles that are basically used in automotive or transport sector and these are classified as mobile tech. So, mobile tech today covers not only the, the isolation and safety aspects, but also focus on the comfort and style. So, although for comfort and style we do not require any technical technical qualities, but as these are used in automotive. So, we can use we can term these fabrics as the technical textiles. So, here basically aesthetically pleasing interiors are used in the car or any automobile. Today's vehicle are not the vehicles, but some living room. Okay. So, that is why the interiors are also important. If we see total usage of textile materials, it is typically around 25 to 30 kgs per car in one car. So, total textile materials use is 25 to 30 kgs in different components. So, here we will discuss the what are the components where we can use this textile material and what are the their special purposes applications. So, as far as growth of automobiles textiles is concerned because due to the improvement in the standard of living of people, people are trying to buy their personal vehicle. A car interior has become more and more important as people are spending more time in the car. So, interior is very important like the carpet, the seat covers and for better fuel economy, we have to use a lighter weight. So, if we reduce the weight of the car, so it will be fuel econ the fuel economy will be there. So, the heavier metal parts are replaced by fiber reinforced composite to reduce the total weight of the vehicle. More safety devices in the vehicle are there in the form of say airbags and seat belts. They are the examples of technical textiles, so automotive textiles. So, airbags are nowadays very common for the that the private cars and seat belts are typically required to protect ourselves and it is a statutory requirement to have seat belt. So, ecological reforms for recycling of used car have increased that is why the textile based composites are used particularly thermoplastic matrix, so that they can be recycled again. Apart from the interiors and safety textiles have also come up with a solution of engineering problem like 
tire reinforcement, acoustic problem and gas and air filtration. So, for tire reinforcement the textile materials are used, gas and air filters are textile based gas filter and air filters are used, even the liquid filters made of the textile based non oven based materials are used. Now, the different areas where textiles are used in a car in terms of mass the weight in terms of kg, the upholstery it is around 3.5 kg it is a it is a rough estimation belts and hoses it is 1.6 kg tire in the tire 1.5 kg is used safety belt 0.9 kg airbags 1.2 kg textile composite 4.5 kg that can always be increased when we try to replace the body of car total entire body of the car with the textile composites. So, other material like filters 2.2 kg carpets 4.5 kg if we take together this will become around 25 to 30 kg. So, this is the total average actually approximate mass. So, why do you need textiles in automobiles? This is due to high strength and light weight. So, that is the unique characteristics of textile the specific strength is very high. So, in automobiles we some applications we need high strength and lighter weight is required for fuel efficiency. Textile based filters will have high filtration efficiency with low pressure drop and safer than metallic parts. We can make the interior more attractive, cost effective and durability. So, the, due to all these reasons we use textile materials in automobiles. The basic requirements in textile materials particularly in fibers for automobile applications it is to be lighter in weight should not be very heavy, high braking strength is required puncture resistance should be high addition with the particularly for tire cord addition with rubber is important for rubber reinforcement optimum porosity is required for filtration application or acoustic application dimensional stability is required where water resistance for some application UV resistance, water proof, color fastness these are the requirements and also thermal protection should be there, flame retardant finish should be there, good mechanical characteristics, good color fastness to light, water proofing, abrasion resistance these are the requirements of textile material for automotive applications and if you see the category wise particularly the specific requirement wise we can divide into three different categories based on the purposes. The purpose if the purpose is safety then we think of seat belt and air bags and both seat belts and air bags are the examples of technical textiles automotive textiles. If we want comfort and luxury then seats and seat covers carpets headliners door liners are there 
and technical importance it is a tire called filters, hoses, textile hoses, textile brakes and textile reinforced composite brakes and clutches are there acoustic control, noise control so that noise from outside or noise from inside can go out or from outside it should not come inside. So, noise absorption and in battery separator we can use textile material. In another way we can classify the automotive textiles based on whether it is a visible component and if it is concealed component like the automotive textiles the visible components are which we can see easily like seat upholstery, carpets, seat belts, headliners. So, these are visible components and concealed components are noise vibration and harnesses components, tire cords, liners. So, these are concealed components which are inside the car to they for different purposes. So, approximate textile usage in terms of percent. So, carpet is 30 to 30 percent 5 percent upholstery 25 to 15 to 25 uh, 20 percent. So, different percentage are there airbag 2 to 5 percent. Now, let us see at different application areas what are the main performance required and accordingly what are the different fibers recommended for those applications. In upholstery the main the characteristics requirements are abrasion and UV resistance, attractive design and textures are required. So, for this reason polyester, wool, nylon, acrylics are used. Tire cord and tire cord fabrics, its tensile strength, addition with rubber and fatigue resistance are important. For that polyester, nylon, high tenacity rayons are used, sometime aramids are also used. For composite applications for the body parts, we need stiffness strength lighter in weight. So, energy absorption, so any shock absorption, thermal stability these are the requirement. So, for that we use glass, carbon, high tenacity polyester, aramid, polyethylene this type of fibers are used. For hoses and belts the main requirements are heat resistant for hose we require heat resistant fiber for belt, tensile strength, dimensional stability, addition to rubber, chemical resistance these are the requirements. So, for hose addition to rubber should be there because rubber reinforced hoses are used sorry fiber reinforced rubber hoses are used. So, high tenacity polyester and aramids are used in these areas. For seat belts the main important characteristics is that the tensile strength and abrasion resistance is very important because it constantly it is getting abraded and UV resistance. So, it is exposed in the light always. So, that is why UV resistance is important. So, for this high tenacity polyesters are used for seat belts. In airbag the main characteristics requirements are ability to withstand high temperature inflation gas, durability to storage in compact stage for long time that is very important because airbags are normally not in use most of the time only in extreme crash condition where accident takes place that time airbags 
come out from their stored place. So, due to storage there should not be any degradation. So, for that the nylon 6 6 and nylon 4 6 are used. Another important quality requirement is that it is impact resistant. So, because sudden inflation suddenly that uh, the airbag gets inflated. So, it should withstand that type of impact strain impact stress. The carpet, the light fastness and moldability should be there nylon and polyesters are used. Here nylon is used basically for higher abrasion resistance. These are the various areas where we can use textile material. So, car body cover is there, we will discuss all these areas one by one, seat cover fabric, nylon tire cord, seat belt webbing, airbag, interior carpet, interior design, headliner, insulation felt, sun blind, helmets, space suit, data wear. So, these are all related to the automobile textiles, filters, battery separators, hoses, tarpaulins are also used. So, we will discuss one by one. First, the car body cover, so, car body covers are required where sufficient parking space, covered parking space are not there. So, we should cover the car with the car body covers. The requirement of the products are the car body cover is a 100 percent technical textile product and made of variety of fabrics including canvas, PVC, reinforced cotton material and nylon to protect the car from the environment like light, dust, in the carpet so are use of three main types of carpets, tufted carpet, tufted loop pile and needle felt. Nowadays needle felt carpets are widely used, these are manufactured from nylon, polypropylene, polyester used as backing fabric. It plays a significant role in vibration and noise control. So, proper selection of carpet structure is required with a proper cushioning effect and carpet also protect from thermal and acoustic problem. The automotive interior carpets are non oven made of mainly polypropylene fibers. The carpet is laid on the vehicle floor above which rubber mats are placed, so that it does not get soiled quickly. The main characteristics requirements are high durability, high abrasion resistance, tensile strength, low flammability, good compressional recovery. So, compression recovery is important, the so, resilience characteristics is important. So, now, now the nylon tire cord fabric mainly nylon 6 and nylon 6 6 are used. Tire cord is prepared from high tenacity continuous filament yarn by twisting and plying. Nylon tire cord fabric provides strength to a tire. The tire industry consumes nearly 98 percent of total nylon tire consumption. So, nylon tires basically are gradually replacing the rayon and polyester cord in the tire industry. So, majority of the tire cords are used that nylons are used. The main requirements are high strength, fatigue strength, because fatigue strength is very important because always this uh, tires are under stress. 
impact resistance is important, high adhesion with the rubber is important. Typically, 930 decitex, 1400 decitex, 1870 decitex, 2100 decitex, these are the standard linear density of nylon are used that linear density of tire cords are there. So, the critical characteristics are breaking strength, elongation, adhesion, ply twist and hot air shrinkage. So, hot air shrinkage should be as low as possible because during the wrong, long running the tire gets heated. So, at that time that the tire cord should not shrink. Now, another technical product in the area of automotive textile is the air bag, which is extremely important for the safety. Now, let us try to see what is air bag. It is an elastic bag cushion, it is like make up with the inflates and deflates quickly in some stage in certain type of car accident. During the car accident within fraction of second we need to inflate the car the air bag. So, that the accident impact is not there in the on the driver or passengers. So, it is a safety device. There are two types of airbags, one is front airbag, uh, these are the airbags. The airbag component for the driver side situated at the center of steering wheel and side airbags are the roof mounted airbag. So, roof mounted side airbag designed to protect the head and neck, door mounted airbags are there to protect the chest and also seat mounted airbags are designed to protect the chest and head. So, there are airbags at different location of the car to protect our body at the time of any accident. The yarn and fabric primarily used nylon 66. So, nylon 66 uh, filaments are used and lighter denier and it is a silicon coated. Approximately 2 square meters of fabrics are used per airbag. One airbag we require 2 square meters of fabric. Now, if we see the principles of airbag, the airbag inflates quickly at a very fast rate. In the first 15 to 20 milliseconds, the airbag sensor detects the crash. First, it detects the crash, then it sends electrical signal to fire the airbag, and one small explosive device ignites the sodium azide, this is sodium azide and which burns at tremendous speed, this after ignition the chemical reaction takes place, it burns at tremendous speed and generates nitrogen gas. This nitrogen gas is used to inflate the airbag quickly and protect the passengers and drivers also. The characteristics is that manufactured from nylon 6, nylon 66 of 315, 420, 4, 630, 840 denier. The tear resistance of airbag must be good, it should not burst, even bursting strength should be good and fabric must withstand force of hot gas and gas must not permeate through it. 
So, permeability should be very low and next coming the sitting fabrics. So, raw materials are polyester, nylon, polypropylene they are used and oven knitted and non oven fabrics are used for sitting fabrics. Fabric can be laminated to provide desired protective characteristics. Cotton and synthetic yarns are used for sitting fabrics. For interior design, the color, textured, and overall appearance is important. Next is seat belt webbing. Seat belt is used to minimize the injuries during accident. Seat belts are fabrics made from nylon filament or high tenacity polyester filament. It is typically 500 to 3000 decitex filaments are used and the total the load specification is an important criteria. The seat belt is energy absorbing material which functions safety hardness to prevent harmful movement of passenger during collision. So, it should protect, it should protect, it should prevent the sudden movement of passengers. For that we need high impact strength and as well as high tensile strength. So, critical criteria are that is abrasion resistance must be very good, resistance to light and heat it should be high. The load bearing capacity of seat belt is should be around 1500 kg. This are oven fabric because otherwise if we use other type of structure the extensibility will be very high. So, we use oven fabric a 2 by 2 twill normally used or any suitable weaves can be used and typical breaking elongation should be around 25 to 30 percent. In headliners this are used in passenger cars where non ovens are used for lightweight roofing. So, headliners are used in most of the cars. The cars were earlier fitted with knitted and oven fabrics. The trend now has changed to non oven fabrics made of polyester and polypropylene needle punch fabric. So, this non oven fabrics help in absorbing the, the shock as well as the it absorbs the sound. So, it is it acts as sound insulator also. So, this insulating field are applied. So, insulating fields often known as NAVH, NVH products noise, vibration and harness part. So, they are used to protect us from noise and vibration. So, these are used for acoustic and thermal insulation of automobiles that is why non ovens are used. So, these are these parts are not only provides noise protection inside the car, but also reduce the noise emission outside. So, noise it should not go outside. Sun blinds is another technical product. The sun blinds are located in the interior of a four wheeler just above the windshield. These are used to block the sunlight. Here also we can use textile materials 
So, blinds are typically made of three parts the synthetic backbone made of polypropylene and scream are coarse oven reinforced fabric and upholstery typically artificial leathers are used. So, here textile components are also used. So, tarpaulin is another technical textile pro product used basically for heavy goods vehicle which are made of PVC coated nylon and polyester plain oven fabric from high tenacity yarn because here strength and tearing strength, tensile strength, abrasion resistance are important. So, and PVC coating is important because here it should be water impermeable. Tarpaulin is used to protect the goods from getting wet. So, tarpaulin must have resistance to cold cracking. So, this PVC cracking should not be there. So, coating adhesion should be good, it should be waterproof, UV resistant and high tear strength and tensile strength, because it is always used in exterior. So, there are chances of getting damaged. So, they must be dimensionally stable at different temperature and relative humidity and should be resistant to common chemicals, oils, engine oils. So, they should not get affected that is why nylon and polyester are used. Another technical textile product is flexible intermediate bulk container. This type of containers are used in the automobile to carry a bulk product like powder type product. So, oven fabrics basically a polypropylenes are used. So, oven fabrics here it is a nylon and polyester are used silicon coated and with the polypropylene tapes. This is very important because to carry the powder like materials filters are also important. So, we'll, we are I am not going to discuss the filter again here. This filter design we have already covered in filtration section. So, air filter, oil filter, fuel filter, cabin air filter. So, these are the different types of filtration requirement like air conditioner filter. So, and we have seen the different types of filter structures in upholstery fabric mainly oven fabric, pile fabric, warp knitted, circular knitted fabrics are used and yarns, air jet texture yarn and spun polyester yarns are used, air jet texture, text, uh, texture yarns are used basically to have some softness and battery separators in the battery separators we can use the textile material where to prevent the short circuiting between anode and cathode we use the glass fiber battery separators in hoses the text uh, that automobile automobile hoses we can use the textile product. So, Kevlar and Nomex where with high melting point we can use. So, in many applications in automobile we use textile material with the coating. So, particularly in seating fabric tarpaulin and lightweight materials. So, different application area we use the coating of uh, fabrics. There are different types of coatings we can use the hot melt extrusion coating 
this is the fabric ok here and through the hot melt extrusion this fabric is being coated here this is a fabric is coming here hot melt extrusion extruded uh, the coating material is actually it is coming from this place ok and then the coating is taking place and the coated fabric is then rolled. So, this process is used to produce a lightweight covering or tarpaulin. So, for production of tarpaulin we can use this hot extrusion coating. Rotary screen coating is also there where similar to the rotary screen printing we can use instead of pigments we can use resin or any other coating material to coat the, the textile material for automotive applications. Flame lamination is also there where this foam is placed in between the fabrics. So, here polyurethane foam is used the polyurethane foam is passed over a gas flame this is a gas flame around 950 degree Celsius and combined with textile material here and these are mainly used in automotive textiles. So, these are different coating technique so or and lamination technique we have many other coating and lamination techniques which are used in the automotive industry. So, what we have discussed the different areas of applications and different fiber materials characteristics and if we can select the fiber material and fabric. So, we can improve the performance in automotive textiles. So, we will end here in next class we will discuss in another topic till then thank you.